Alright guys, so it's the night before the strike, and as usual, we're just gonna go through a quick rundown of the leak of the uh, strike event. So tomorrow's strike event is a level 30 post metrodon So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit difficult, I guess. Uh, you can't really cheese it, you just have to go and uh, hit it really hard with fast dinos, I guess. Since, you know, it's immune. post metrodon is immune. Uh, you can't bleed it, so, you know, not much you could do there. So, um, yeah, uh, let's go over the stats on post on first real fast. So, post on it's an epic hybrid. Uh, it has 124 speed, um, 5,105 HP, uh, 1,216 damage. But remember, it has Ferocious Strike and Impact, so it's going to use, it's probably going to use those two moves, uh, which... On the impact, it does 1,824 damage. On the Ferocious Strike boosted impact, it's going to be 2,736 damage. So, that's a lot of damage, and that's a decent amount of HP. So, uh, how are we going to uh, approach this? So, here's two sets of methods that I've uh, came up with just real fast, um, which I think probably would work. Well, I mean, it really depends on what the uh, post metron goes for as... Uh, as far as the moves go, but uh, it, it should work, I mean. <laughs> uh, j uh, let's just go over it real fast. So, uh, the first set we use, we, we lead with a Kulosukis, the epic Kulosukis, at level 11, which is creation level, which is uh, sufficient for this, and obviously you could use higher levels, but you know, for those of you who don't have a higher level Kulosukis, just use it. At level 11 would work, 12 works also, whatever, you know, you get the point. I'm, I'm just giving you like the bare minimum dinos and levels that you need to take out this post measure on. So at level 11, Kulosukis has 2,169 HP, which is a lot of HP. Um, it's enough to survive a ferocious boosted uh, strike, which is enough for our purposes. And also, Kulosukis, I think it's like 125 speed or something. Uh, all these dinos listed on uh, uh, in the Stratic except for Trick Gen 2, for obvious reasons, is uh, over 124 speed. So Kulosukis Gen 2, 125 speed, uh, can survive a ferocious strike from Postmetron, which very likely it's going to be using on turn 1. So um, uh, so what, you, what you're going to do is uh, Kula Gen 1, I think, has a slowing impact and a nullifying impact. Uh, it's it, it's one of those. Actually, no, it's it's oh no, it I totally got this chart wrong. It's 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 actually um uh, well at least well, the one I'm looking at right now. I'll I'll, I'll change it when I uh, edit the video. But um I thought it had nullifying impact for some reason, but uh, it does have distracting slash slowing impact plus nullifying strike. But you know that doesn't really matter. Um, we do need it to be using uh, one of the impact moves first. And uh, that should do... Uh, let's see, uh, the, 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 its base damage is uh, 486 at the uh, level... Uh, at level 11. So, you know, that's uh, boosted with the impact. Uh, it's a 729, so that's a decent amount of damage, but the reason you do want to use, start with one of the impacts is because, first of all, it does more damage, and then you want to use a Null Strike on turn 2 when you outspeed it, so you get rid of the uh, Ferocious Strike there, uh, which helps a lot, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, um, so turn 1, you use the impact, whichever impact, it doesn't matter, it's immune, so none of the effects are going to apply anyways. So you impact, they ferocious, and then you null strike, you get rid of their ferocious, and then they'll impact you, and then you're dead. <laughs> cool Asukas. But you do do deal uh 1215 damage to Cool Asukas, which is nice. And then you swap in a level 12 Delta, which has at level 12 has 1218 HP, just enough to survive a non ferocious boosted strike from post metron which then uh, you could pounce it with base damage 641 a pounce does uh i don't know uh 1282 damage 
And then, you know, because it could survive a strike, it can then impact and run into your next dino, uh, which you should put Draco Gentry. And by the way, a lot of people, for some reason, don't know um, how the swapping mechanic works. Um, it swaps to the dino that's right next to you. And for strike events, you can uh, choose your order. Just, you know, after you click Delta, click Draco Gentry 2 after that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how you get Draco Gentry 2 behind Delta. All right, so... Um, the, 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 the pounce does 1,282 damage at level 12, and then the impact does 961.5 damage, but you know, they round it up, so it's a 962 damage. So then the total damage you do with, with the, uh, Kula damage is going to be like something like 3,458 damage, and then... Uh, you know, you swap right into Draco Drake Correction too. So at level one, uh, it's gonna do three hundred and forty-five damage, and then uh, uh, and the 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 swap in uh, rampage is gonna do uh, six hundred and ninety damage. So that in total is like four thousand one hundred and forty-eight damage. And because I totally forgot about the uh, the <laughs> the. The, the Kula moves, I have to make a really a quick change here. Let's see. Um, what I have here is a Lost Raptor at level 1, which obviously it's not going to do the job anymore. Uh, let's see a level 4 Lost Raptor. 458 base damage. 458. 458. Uh, that doesn't do it. I guess a level 5 then. Jeez, that's going to be difficult. 480. I hope you guys have a level 5 Velociraptor. Okay, that does it. So level 5 Velociraptor does 408 damage, um, uh, 960 on the pounce, which will leave uh, the post march on with negative 3.5 HP. So uh, that's one way to do it. And uh, another way is if you do not have an epic Kulasukas, which you should have. I mean, it's not, it's not that uncommon. It does spawn uh, all day and night in local four, so it's not super hard to get. But if, if for some reason you don't have it, you've just never been to local four. Uh, you don't really hunt in local four. You could use Diplo Gen two as well, since it is also one hundred twenty five speed. And at level eleven, precisely level eleven, it does survive the ferocious strike from uh, Post Metron, which is nice because you want to do that. You want to get uh, both hits onto it and also null the ferocious strike. So this one at level 11, the Plo Gen 2, does 549 damage, and the impact does 823 damage, which totals to about 0.5, which is, I, I forgot to round it up on, on my graphic. But anyways, uh, so the, the, the total is 1,372.5 damage, which is, you know, round that up. And then um, uh, next you put out the level 12 Delta, and guys, you really need to get some Deltas. Delta is really, really good for strike events. It's... It's like, if, if you were to ask ask me, like, what are the top five dinos for strike events, Delta would be, like, number two or number three. It's just that good for strike events. So, uh, Delta at level um, 12, and remember, you've already nulled the Ferocious, so it's good. So the strike is not going to take out Delta, it's just going to do uh, 1,218 damage, which is enough to take out Delta. And then the, uh, the Pounce... Or uh, to, uh, the base damage is uh, 641 pounds is going to do 1,282 damage. And then the impact and run is uh, 961.5. Hey, you round that up. And then uh, just total damage from uh, Diplo Gen 2 plus Delta is going to be 3,616. Then uh, you swap into a correction 2, which at level 1 has a base damage of 345. And then uh, the, the swap in Shattering Rampage does 690. So that's a total of... 400 uh, 4306 damage on uh what turn is it? one turn one turn two turn three turn four on turn four and then you just throw in velociraptor at level two with uh 417 base damage and uh 834 pounds that will leave cooler with negative or not cooler post match on with negative 35 hp and obviously, you could swap out Velociraptor for a number of dinos if, for some reason, you don't have a level 5 or level 2 Velociraptor. You know, Tanny Calagrius, uh, what else, Gallimimus. Well, I, I don't actually know Gallimimus doesn't do that much damage. Just any, like, faster, faster than 124 dino with a 2 times multiplier 
um, at a okay-ish level, but you know, they all work. And also if you, uh, you know, don't have Draco Rex Gen 2 at, at, actually no, never mind. I, I was about to say, if you don't have Draco Rex Gen 2 at level 1, but then that's, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a hard event. Um, you know, obviously that's not 100% what its move order is going to be, but that's a very likely move order uh, for Postmetron. So yeah, um, I'll just, you know, hopefully this works for you guys. And obviously you could use stronger dinos as well. Just, you know, if you do have legendaries or uniques or, you know, strong epics uh, that are faster than 125, that could do a lot, a lot of damage on turn one or tank a hit on turn one and do a lot of damage on turn two, you know, that's fine as well. So yeah, it's not a super hard strike. Um, it's basically a free Yankee Bear, but you know, I, uh, this strat is 100%. I have to go tomorrow morning to test out the move orders just to make sure. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hopefully this is how it would go and hopefully, uh, this does help you guys. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, leave a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, um, please consider leaving a like and I'll see you guys tomorrow at the strike event.